Now tell me, what did you get from the Ultima Fighter? What did you come home with as far as inspiration, tips, anything that you learned from there? Um, I believe that I came home with a lot of uh, new techniques that I've, I've learned from some of the coaches on uh, on, the, on the show and even from some of the other competitors. I uh, also came home with a newfound confidence that I could be able to compete at that level considering that I feel like I was very competitive in, uh, in my fights and I was competitive in the training. And, um, and it, it just gave me the belief that I could be in the UFC and be uh, successful. Well, you definitely can, and you're proving that daily. Now, you created a lot of comic relief on The Ultimate Fighter. Do you feel that that kind of gave the tension? It took it away from some of the fighters there? Um, You know, it, Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Some people liked it, some people didn't. You know, it was just me being me, you know, just having fun. I, I, I tell you something, you know, that the, actually the same guy that told me to try out for the show, he said, when you go on a show, do not be boring. Don't be, don't be the guy that everybody forgets. Like, you know, you see other guys on the show and they can, they can honestly say, yeah, I was an Ultimate Fighter season 17, the number one season in the history of the Ultimate Fighter show, but the people are like, you was on the show? I don't remember you. Well, I kind of make sure nobody can say that to me. Well, I know for a fact that nobody can say that about you because it was a true joy to watch you during season 17. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, like, like I said, I was just there kind of being myself, having a good time. Anybody that knows me off camera, I'm pretty much the same way. You know, um, it's, it's okay to, you know, to be a little goofy and chill out, man. And like, you don't always have to be so serious and like, I mean, life doesn't suck, man. We on a, we on a show in front of live, a live audience. Well, not quite live, but we on TV and we have an opportunity to do something that thousands of, of other fighters wish they had. Why not enjoy the moment? Exactly. I totally agree. Now tell us about Jamal, the family man, the man off camera. Are you any different than what the camera showed on Ultimate Fighter? Um, I don't think the camera showed my my true work ethic. At least, at least if you listen to the first episode, I mean the first of uh, my fight, you know, and some of my teammates questioning my my cardio, which was totally. Um, I don't think people realize how hard I train, how hard I, I compete and, 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 and the sacrifices that I've made, you know, you, you, you will listen to some of the other fighters and they give you a sad story and, you know, my wife left me and I don't have my kids and, and I got bills. I'm like, you know, if I told my story and where I come from, you know, we all be here shedding tears. So I, I definitely think that, you know, hopefully that people can see is that I don't, I don't let my personal uh, shortcomings or things I have to go through uh, hold, hold me down or make me not enjoy life. Definitely. I totally commend that. It's very commendable. Now, what do you feel about men and women going into the house next season for season 18? Mm, I, don't, I don't know. I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, we spent seven weeks, roughly close to seven weeks, uh, and it was tough, man. You know, I've been married for over 11 years and I definitely miss my wife and and on and females. Here's what I would say. I do hope that the females that they bring in and the guys that they bring in, that they have a level of maturity that they could, you know, be a professional. I'm saying you still have fun, but don't, don't do anything stupid that's going to kill the sport. I mean... Because female MMA is, is, it's like, it's on that line that it could easily be wiped away with the wrong actions. People could easily turn away and be like, because some people don't even believe in female MMA just yet. So, and, and as I am an advocate to female MMA, so I really want the, uh, the female athletes to showcase their they, they fighting skills and not go on TV and become a real world. Because then you would, then the audience will get turned off and nobody would give the females the uh, respect that they deserve. Now, Iconic ITV MMA are, is very, very into women's MMA. So we're glad to hear that you are an advocate for it. You're right about some people not being supportive of it. We are completely supportive, and I'm glad to hear that you are. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm definitely in support. 
I think that there's so many great female fighters out there, man, and, to, and I'm just happy for them to have the opportunity to showcase their talents in, in the UFC. I, I think, you know, it's funny because one of the fighters that's fighting on my card is Kat Zagano, and she's from Denver. And, you know, to have two Denver fighters making their debut in the UFC, it's, it's an honor. So, you know, to be, I'm going to be not only seeing it, but I'm going to be like so, sort of kind of part of history in the making. And then after that, the tryouts for the show is Monday, and I'm going to be there. Yeah, the, the 15, I'm going to go and see them try out. It'd be cool to see other people go through what I went through. So I'm going to go out there and check out the talent, check out, you know, uh, how the season is going to look. So I'm, 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 I'm ecstatic about it. Awesome. It's great that you brought up Kat Zingano because that was going to lead into my next question. Who are you going for to, so that Ronda has the opponent or the opposing coach? Who are you going for between Misha and Kat? Well, I'm going to have to go with Kat. Um, you know, I actually met her. Uh, we trained a little bit together at a, a muscle phone gym. She seems like a really nice person. Uh, she's a strong competitor. Um, I have nothing against Misha Tate. I think she's awesome. It's kind of like one of those fights that you hate to see somebody lose. But, you know, I have to pick the hometown Definitely. fighter. Definitely. Totally agree. Thank you so much for your time today. We had such a great time getting to know you and being able to get the answers to our questions. And stay tuned.